Chag HaSukot Sameach. Happy, happy, happy Feast of Tabernacles, of ingatherings. Chag, Chag HaSukot, the Chag, Chag. In Hebrew, the Chag is the Feast, Ha, the Sukot of the Tabernacle, the booths, the huts, here, 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 the seventh of the seventh, the seventh and the, and the final of the feast, the Mo'adei Yahuwah, the Mo'adim, the Mo'adim, the appointments, appointments here, the appointments here in the season, seven feasts, seven festivals that occur three times in a year, and here we're at the seventh of the seventh, two sevens clash right here. This is the seventh and the final, right, of the feast in the ecclesiastical, the churchical year right here, starting with the April, May, the month of Abib, and here we're at the seventh month, the seventh moon, so we have the two sevens clashing, the two seven, that beautiful culture song. If you haven't checked out culture, you can just pause this and go check out the culture song, the culture tune, two sevens, the two sevens clash. So here, the seven, right, at the seventh feast. The seven feasts is known as the Feast of Tabernacles, Feast of Booths, Feast of Ingathering at the end of the year. Interesting, we're in the seventh month, seventh moon from Abib, the first month, roughly around the April, May time, according to the lunar, the solar calendar. And here we're at the seventh, right? And this is called Sukkot, right? Sukkoth. Some say Sukkoth in the KJV, S-U-C-C-O-T-H, but here it's known as Sukkot, more properly pointed Sukkot from the Sukkah, Sukkah. Sukkah is a booth, a pavilion. See, it's during this time that many Yehudi, Yehudim, Hebrews, especially we're commanded to do this when we're in the land, when we enter into the land. There's something very important about this, not to forget where we come from, our roots, where we dwell for those Seven days actually fulfilled on the eighth for a full Shabua, a full strong long, a full week long celebration, celebration that fulfills, fulfills the, the churchical year. When we say the church, the Kahal, Kahal in the Hebrew, that's the Kahal. Kahal is like the called out assembly where we get the root idea. Even the New Testament. And Caduce Stefano, St. Stephen, the first martyr of the Nazarenes. I mean, what did he say? He said, he said, and the angel that was with him in the church, right? The church in the wilderness. The church in the wilderness. So here we go, here we go, here we go, right here. Let's look it up. Let's search it. Let's search it. All right, church in the wilderness. There we go. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 7, chapter 7, verse 38. All right? This is he, right? In Acts of the Apostles, chapter. 7 verse 38 this is he that was in the church in the wilderness the church in the wilderness with the angel with ha melaak that spake to him in the mount in har sina mount sinai and with abotenu i and i fathers abotenu who received the lively oracles the word to give to I and I, to give to us right here, here, here. Let's bring this up. Let's compare and contrast right here. So here, let's go to the New Covenant Hebrew right here. Here we have it right here. Let's go to this and it says, Who, who asher haya ba kahal, kahal. There we go right there. That's the word right there. The kahal, the kahal. Right in the kahal, ba kahal, ba midbar. Right in the kahal. In the mead bar in the wilderness, Aim Ha Malaak of the angel, Ha Dover, Ha Dover, a love, Ha Dober, and Layo, Behar Sinai, with Aim, Aim of Otenu, Vasher, Kibel, Kibel, the Kibel, you see the Kibel right there? Let's scroll up, we just touched the, the arrow right there, it says the Kibel, you see the Kibel right there? That's to receive, the Kibel to Kabbalah, Kibel. It says, Kibel Devarim, Kibel Devarim, to receive the words, Chayim, 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 the living words, Latet, Latet, to give, right, Lanu, Lanu, right there, to give to Ainai, to give to us. So the word right here, the, 
this is the word right here. Well, that's the word for receive, but the kaha, the kaha. Let's just do a little something right here so we just recognize, you know, the reason for the season. So when we talk about the church, right, the church, don't think of the New Testament KJV version, but actually let's get to the roots. Let's get to the roots. So let's clear this up right here. Let's take it this to Aleppo, right, to the Aleppo, the unpointed Hebrew right here, right? Reason for the season right here, Sukkot, Tabernacles, not to forget, right? Not to forget where we come from. So here it says right here, look, look at the first one, right? Look, ahal, what do we have here? Look, ahal, let's go to the KJV, which is more familiar to most. It says, and right, El Shaddai bless thee and make thee fruitful, multiply thee, that thou mayest be a multitude of people. Right, so now the Hebrew right here, the multitude of people, uh, is it in this verse? Yeah, it says right here, Lik Ahal, Lik Ahal Amim. It says, Weel, Weel Shaddai, De Ye Ye Varek, Weel, Weel. Well, this is not the, this is not the what they call it, the Tanakh. Let's bring up the Tanakh since most ones and ones will be familiar, right, from the low degree. So it says, Weel Shaddai. Ye varek otikha ve yafarekha ve yarabeka ve haita lik ahal lik ahal ve he lik ahal says lik ahal amin lik ahal amin so the first use of the kahal is this word right here right you have the kahal you see the kahal right there that's the age 69 51 just to bring out the sense of what we mean by when we say the church in the wilderness when that's church in the the KJV sense but going to the original sense of the kahal the kahal is the assembly the company the congregation the convocation the assembly right it can be an assembly for a bad reason for war for invasion religion it's an assembly it's a company of people notice the second one it says to be the company of returning exiles this is what the feast the festival of tabernacles also known as the in gathering, the in gathering, as the feast is also known as the Chag Ha Asif. Right, so it's during this time that many Yehudim, what will we do? Families, especially in the land, would construct a sukkah booth or a hut. See, this booth is a hut. All right, let's come out of this right here. Bring this back over here. So Sukkot, Sukkot, Tabernacles. Reason for the season. All right, so many families would construct. Right, and the, the Feast of Tabernacles, this is a good word picture right here. Right? This is how we dwelt, right, trotting through the wilderness, like in, in tents and in temporary, like shanties. That's what the sukkah is. Right? Sukkah is a booth. Right? Now, this was meant for us to remember how the Bnei Yisrael, how the Beta Israel, how Yasharala, how we lived during. I and I 40 years sojourn, the wandering and the sojourn, right, in the wilderness, in the Midbar, after the Yetziat, after the Exodus, Mi Mitzrayim from the Egypta, Hekapata from Egypt or Mitzrayim. Later, after the Beta Israel had entered the land of promise, Sukkot, right, was and became associated with the fall festival season. Right, the fall festival season, you know, according to the lunar, right, according to the lunar. Let's bring up some of the, some of the word picks right here. What is the reason for the season? Now, we have began off with this right here. Got a couple of presentations right here, you know, for the season, right, regarding the season, right, to celebrate right here, right, celebrate, keep, keep calm and celebrate tabernacles, right, booths, huts. All right, so let's get into some of the basics right here of what it's all about, giving some sight samples of what is the booth, right, the hut, right, it's a booth. We have the Adas Baal Bamarinya. All right, now this is to make us remember where we came from, but now here's something. We was in the wilderness, and we dwelt like this, but when we enter the land, we're called to observe this for a full Shabuah for full strong, a full weak. That means we don't live like that in the land, but we remember where we came from. 
that remembrance of how we dwelt in booths, in shanties, in huts, while Jehovah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Hakados, Baruch Baruch Hashem, He's led us, He's led us through the mead bar. So now, when we came into the land. This connected with the autumnal season. This here is connected with what's called the autumn harvest, the latter harvest. This came to be known as the Chag Ha'asif. Chag, the feast, Ha'asif. Ha'asif, the ingathering, right? The ingathering of the harvest when? At the end of the year. Right here, here, here. The reason for the season, Chabarim, Chabarim. And may, may I and I also recall that Abinu Melkeinu, Batachin Nugusachin, Abuna Nugusna, our Father, our King, also dwelt. Yahuwah also dwelt with us in that booth, in that hut, right, as we sojourned, right, as we trod it, as we went through the wilderness. So Jafis, right, of tabernacles, the tabernacles feast right here, here, here. Now, how do we observe it here, and how should we observe it here in the diaspora? Well, first of all, we have to know what the gathering's for. What is the gathering for? Right? That feast, that festival. 